Hey guys, it's your boy Kaz. Uh, my buddies loaned me their battle belts today, and I just wanted to go through them all and tell you guys how their different battle belts are built for their different weapons platforms and their different roles. Um, I think it's pretty neat, you know? Uh, we all have our own special things, and what I have as a rifleman is going to be different than what my friend has as a combat medic, you know? And uh, before anybody climbs down my throat about not being in the military or not doing anything like that, that's not what this is about. This is about being prepared and being trained up to be a team if shit hits the fan. So without further ado, here we go. All right, we'll start with our medic's belt. He runs a two inch belt with a simple clasp buckle, a QLS Blackhawk left-handed holster with interior release, Glock 17, two utility mag pouches, one for a flashlight and one for a multi-tool. And his primary firearm is the XR EP9, a nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine so he runs two additional 30 round magazines for it because it's light it's easy and why not two glock 17 magazines because he runs a glock 17 just like the rest of us we've all seen my belt you know pretty awesome uh, i did make a change i took off that giant uh med pouch i had here and just threw my tq on and then we've got my buddy Murphy. He's our designated marksman. He runs an AR-10 platform. He's carrying two Glock 17 magazines. I didn't get any 10 round AR-10 magazines from him, but I'm simulating that with a 30 round AR-15 mag comparative to his uh, mag pouch. His utility pouch or dump pouch where he keeps all the necessary tools that a marksman needs, range finder, compass, wind testing device, pencils, paper, etc., etc. His straight blade, he really likes this one. He's actually pretty agile with it. And then he prefers the Glock, the subcompact Glock 26. It's still a 9mm, so he's still within the realms of the Glock 17 magazines. And then we've got my partner's belt. Uh, I kind of messed up when I got her this because at that point I didn't know that Friends Don't Buy Friends Serpa. So she hasn't really ran it since we got it, but it's, it's there. I'm working on getting her an omnivore just like mine. She really likes the K-Bar, so we got her a K-Bar, and her primary fighting weapon is going to be a 12-gauge shotgun. She knows how to use it, she likes it, she likes the power that it has, and that's always good with the dump pouch. You can store your additional shells in here. She's got a dual pouch, utility pouch, with a multi-tool and a flashlight, and then dual Glock magazine pouch for her Glock 17. I've seen a lot of really neat gear here today. Uh, a lot of different setups, but they're all pretty much the same. It's your first line of defense, and the only crucial difference between them is the platform that they're set up for and the job that the individual is doing. And that's okay. Uh, we aren't military. We aren't a unit. We aren't some crazy thing. We're just a group of people that want to keep our children and our loved ones safe as shit hits the fan. And that's what these are built for. We are by no means going to go do CQB door-to-door -door raids. It's more of a Wolverines hide in the forest type thing. And on top of that, that that's our plan. And that's what we train for. What's your shit hit the fan plan? What are you trained for? Leave it below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys out there.